This is a case of a 60-year-old man who shares his experiences with this debilitating disease. Well, I have been smoking since my teenage years. My friends introduced me to that vice. It became part of my everyday lifestyle. Well, I have been a factory worker for the past 20 years. I have been exposed to smoke and chemicals. After years, I've observed that I've been constantly coughing and have difficulty in breathing and I have difficulty in performing my daily activities. Later on, I decided to consult a doctor regarding my condition. He had several tests and diagnosed me that I have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He ordered me to stop smoking and to take antibiotics and bronchodilators. Being diagnosed with COPD may be difficult to a patient's life. But we, student nurses, are here to give proper nursing care to promote health. And the appropriate nursing diagnoses are... Nursing diagnosis number one. An effective airway clearance related to hyperplasia and hypertrophy of mucus secreting glands secondary to COPD. Nursing diagnosis number two. Impaired gas exchange related to disruption of alveolar walls secondary to FICU. Nursing diagnosis number three. Here are nursing responsibilities we must do. Suction nasal or oral secretions as indicated. This will keep the airway patent and help the patient breathe easier. Always observe the sterile technique. Encourage the patient to use controlled coughing and expectorating the sputum as tolerated. This is to clear secretions that might have collected in the lungs and maintain patent health. Teach the patient first dip and diaphragmatic breathing. This provides for the adequate elimination of carbon dioxide from the patient that relieves respiratory acidosis. Sir, oxygen therapy as ordered. This is to establish a patent airway and ensure adequate oxygenation through ion the tissues. Administer mucolytics and bronchodilators as ordered. Mucolytics are needed to decrease viscosity of respiratory mucus secretions and provide for easy expectoration, while bronchodilators will promote patent airways. Perform or assist respiratory therapists to do chest vision therapy. This improves respiratory efficiency, promotes expansion of the lungs, strengthens respiratory muscles, and eliminates secretions from the respiratory system. Place the patient in a high Fowler's position. This promotes better lung expansion and improves air exchange. And when you have done all this, you're a certified lung-friendly nurse.